All right, thanks. Connecting high schoolers with the James River. With some help from the EPA, Richmond Public Schools is educating students on what makes the river so dirty sometimes and what we can all do to keep it a little cleaner. Last March, the James River Association received a grant from the Environmental Protection Agency to help them teach environmental science students about stormwater runoff which of course can be the main contributor of pollution into the river. Any other year, the association would be down at the river hosting field trips and giving students a hands-on teaching experience, but as you can guess, they're sticking to virtual instruction right now because of the coronavirus. Nat Draper of the James River Association tells us that the program shows students that the infrastructure they see around them can have a big impact on how healthy the river is. I think a lot of the students actually have never, they've, they've seen the storm drains at, you know, at their houses or apartment complexes or at their school. They see that they help prevent flooding, but they don't also really understand that they can be, you know, a segue for pollutants into the, the James River and the watershed. Richmond Public Schools just started their second semester of the school year, and this class will start back up in about two weeks. And Tom, what a great lesson to actually see it, you know, not just read it in a textbook, you know? Yeah, you know what, I, that gentleman, I, I remember how I knew him. Um, right after we talked about this uh, before, I spoke with his ninth grade earth science class back at Deep Run High School in about 2008. Wow. And I remember that's when Deep Run was still, uh, still, still kind of a baby. I think it was uh, a couple years old mm -hmm. only by then. But I remember going in there, that cavernous... Uh, building they have in there and he was off to the right somewhere but yes it came back to me 12 years ago <laughs> all right